gonna be very noisy. Well, welcome back. <laughs> did you miss me? No, I'm sure you didn't. But we're here. It's been a very long time. I think the last video I did was a vlog, as far as I'm aware. But as you can see, we're in a very different location. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok or really anywhere else, I have moved into my first <laughs> In fact, you would have seen that in my previous video, which is my mood board. That's why the video hasn't been done and wasn't released, was because I quite literally got this flat in December and wanted to tick it off my 2023 mood board so badly. But the date was getting pushed back and then it ended up being March, the final week of March that I could finally move in. And now everything's together. This is obviously like a sneak peek into the wardrobe room. It's not complete because I don't have a chair or anything like that, but... I have my dream desk and I cannot tell you how happy it makes me. Oh, I'm so, so happy right now. Oh my God. It's the best feeling in the entire world. I've been waiting for this day for what feels like, in fact, no, it's been two years. I started searching for a flat two years ago and here I am in my own flat, completely on my own. I'm baffled. It's an odd feeling though. I'll quickly jump into this. It's an odd feeling because it feels like I haven't done it yet, but I have. I live here. It's only been like, I think tomorrow's two weeks. So it's, I'm looking around like this isn't mine, but it is, it is mine. But my sofa's being delivered soon. My dining room table comes on Sunday. Oh, I'm so excited. My dining room table is one of the most beautiful things I have ever looked at in my entire life and it's from the range it's from the range oh my god i'm so excited i just can't believe this is happening to me i'm a bit baffled I, I i haven't been able to tell myself i'm proud of myself yet because it feels like it hasn't happened like me and my partner spent two days putting all of this together i also had help from other family members my sister's boyfriend but i just can't believe this is all in here and there is so much space <laughs> the amount of space i have going from one bedroom to two and a whole living dining room open kitchen area i'm a bit baffled i'm a bit baffled but i've done it and i'm probably going to be here for like two three years and we'll just see where time takes us. But the reason we're here today, moving on swiftly, is to open this bad boy. I had this sitting in my room at my parents' house for weeks. For weeks. I'm actually gonna, I don't know if you can see the address, but I'm gonna cover it up. I have been needing to open this for since I got the keys because this has stuff in it that I actually do need. So let's open her up, shall we? Open sesame. And we're literally just going to go at this in any order that it comes in. I have no idea what this is. This is a box. <laughs> oh my god. I need a new one of these because it just, it's not sharp enough anymore. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, okay. I see these on the like home TikTokers page and I want one. So I bought one. It's basically where you put like, uh, cling film, baking sheets and tin foil so that it's, it can be easily cut really. Oh, all the sounds, all the sounds. I think this is just a random box that I, what is this? I think this is going to be like for my meats or my cheeses or something. This is, I think this is to go in the fridge. I think that was my process, my idea when it came to this but I mean, you can use this for anything, I'm pretty sure. It's just like your normal, like, storage. They, obviously, you can buy acrylic if you want to buy acrylic. Ice tray! Very excited. I've been following, oh, God, what's her name? Ka Kaylee May. Kaylee May, I think, on TikTok. Since she basically worked, since she worked at Starbucks. And I remember when she bought all of her ice trays and she does all of her ice refill videos. And I was like, I need tiny ice. <laughs> I want tiny ice! So I got one of these. I do also have another order on the way. <laughs> but I couldn't wait. I uh, could not wait. I just wanted to open this one and let it sit in the corner of my bedroom for very much longer. Clear uh, plastic box. That was £1.53 
and that is meant well it says on here for cheese this was £1.49 and then the box was £12.96 next thing on the agenda all right literally at random oh this is to organize all my cables I'm so excited I've wanted one of these for a very long time basically all it is is another storage organizer but on Shein's website they basically say that you um, example it as like a cable organizer and it lifts up and then you put all your cables in here and I'm very excited because currently all my cables are a bit everywhere this was £1.53 next is something I have dreamed of having for ages I got it out of the bag this is going in my bathtub I can have a bath oh my god you know how excited I am when I lived at home with my parents we we were shower I'm a shower person grew up being a shower person just is what it is but when I wanted a bath I obviously asked and when I did have one I just felt like it was really uncomfortable on my neck and I didn't like being in the bath for very long and it was just a bit like why am I sitting in my own water that's fun but now I can make it a bit more relaxing and they suction cup on so I'm very excited about that that was precisely £7.44 doorbell just rang hang on a moment doorbell just rang it was my painter because there are a few scuff marks oh yeah I forgot to mention this flat's a new build <laughs> we're carrying on the video and we will discuss the flat another time in a different video yes I think that's just so cute and I really wanted it it's a waffle maker I've never made my own waffles before and it came only in pink now I'm not a massive pink person but you know it is what it is and I think this was the most expensive thing <laughs> It's so tiny. Oh, I can't wait to make waffles in that. I'm so excited. Especially because I have two of my friends coming around Saturday, I believe. So, <laughs> breakfast on Sunday morning. Uh -huh, Chloe's got everything. <laughs> £9.95. So, I think this was the most expensive thing. I think I had some vouchers on Sheen as well. So, it was a bit less than it was advertised. But things are constantly on sale on Sheen. I got two shower trays to go in the corner of my shower. I love these. I think they're just going to save so much space for me and it means that um, I'll have lots of room to grow. These were £3.26 each, so just nearly £7 if I've done my next trip. I got another ice tray. This one has love hearts on it because I ordered it thinking I'd be in before Valentine's Day. And I wasn't, so, and these are huge too, damn, but it doesn't need to be Valentine's Day to have a heart in my, have an, an ice that's shaped like a heart. This is like what you scrape up the carpet with when the carpet gets a bit older and it gets a bit tatty, so you just give it a good old scrape, <laughs> pick up the whatever comes off and throw it in the bin and then the carpet looks a bit more fresher, a bit more newer. Just to get it out the way, I did buy another ice tray. <laughs> I've had these ice trays in my wish list for years, I think. So I got one. And this is the sphere one. So this is the one where you have to push it down and then obviously water's meant to come out so you get an actual sphere and not half a sphere. Forgot to say. So the lint brush was one pound two pence. The heart-shaped ice mould was two pound thirty. And the pink sphere ice cube tray was 82 pence. Moving on swiftly, I got a shower squeegee and I wanted it in black because there's not a lot of black in my flat but I like adding in hints of black. I just think it's really simple, it's not going to clash with anything so just thought I'd go with that and obviously it comes with something to stick to the wall so, and it's silicon as well. I don't know what this is. Oh I know what this is, never mind. I got one of those electric handheld whisks because I wanted one, so I got one. It needs batteries in it, of course, but this will help. This will, I drink um, the real food gut feel green drink, and sometimes the bits still get stuck even though I've shaken it really well. So this is just going to help make sure that everything's mixed in properly. The handheld whisk was a one pound twenty nine and the shower squeegee 
was £3.52. I bought another cloud cut. Didn't I just say at the beginning of this video I needed a new one? I really like... I'm smart. Pass me is very smart. Thank you, Pass me. That was 85 pence. So I thought I'd give this a go because I don't have one of those taps that you can pull out and then spray everywhere. And this is an attachable tap that you put onto your already pre-existing tap. And basically water's meant to come out here and you're meant to, and it's basically an extender tap so you can get all around the sides and everything for when you're cleaning your sink or even if you need to get around the sides in whatever you're washing up. I just think that's gonna be a bit handy if it works. The likelihood of this working? Ah, at the moment I'm gonna give it like a 50-50. I think I'm gonna give 50-50 and we'll see how we go from there. This was £1.70, so I thought for £1.70, you know, can't go wrong. And then the final thing in this order is this. So I've seen these people use them on toothpaste. Basically, it just helps get everything out the bottle. I'm actually gonna use this on my colours that I put on people's hair because I feel like when you're squeezing it normally, you can't get every single drop out, but now I have one of these, so I'm able to make sure all that colour is used up and I'm not wasting any, because waste not, what not. That is everything in this order. Like I said, there is going to be another one. So let me know down below if you want another haul, if you want to know the prices of stuff, or before I forget, let me quickly tell you the price of that. So that was, that was 68 pence. So thank you for watching. I have missed you all. I will I am definitely back on the gains and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.